social justice and a second chance is at the very heart of the new Collateral Consequences of Conviction Justice Project on the campus of Loyola Law School in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. I'm Michael Real, and this is Real Urban News. We're on campus for the unveiling. It is wonderful to have you here for this special event today. It's my honor as Dean of Loyola Law School, Los Angeles, to welcome you to the opening of Loyola's Social Justice Legal Clinic. It's always been a joy uh, for me to do anything with Loyola uh, because of your social justice excellence and the way that you have always committed to um, creating a city full and a world full of doers uh, when it comes to social and economic justice. Discuss the significance of this program. Well, this, this program is a no-brainer. I mean, as a mayor who wants to see our streets be safer, uh, spend less money on locking people away and who wants to make sure that we have productive citizens who can realize their dreams, raise their families. This allows us to get rid of one of the biggest hurdles that, face, that people face that have come out of prison um, and find great students who can be part of the next generation of lawyers who can help us get people past the collateral consequences of their previous convictions. This is a city that never counts you down when you're down on your luck, counts you out when you're down on your luck. We look to tomorrow. And we don't care where you've come from, we just are interested where you want to get to. Your remarks today sound personal. Yes. Uh, you hung out around the terms second and third chances. Yeah. How important is that? Well, look, let's be clear. Some people never get a first chance. But a mistake that is made or mistakes that are made, we should always be believing that people can turn their lives around. As people of faith, as, peop as human beings, we all have family members who've been affected by the criminal justice system one way or another. And as I talked about today, my grandfather was this close to probably being somebody who could have gone down a different pathway. But uh, when people believe in you, you can transform who you are. We see the testimony of that in the lives of the people that are here today. But think about the people we missed, because they were never represented. And when they came out, they were never talked to. 65% of them will go back to prison if we do nothing. 3% or less will stay here if they have a job. And that's what we want to see. I think about Tom Bradley, who wasn't elected mayor the first time he tried. It's his 100th birthday of his birth right now this year. And he was elected on the second time in the face of great racism and great prejudice in the 1969 campaign. He came back, got up, and in 1973 made history as the first African-American uh, uh, mayor of a town that was founded by a majority of people with African blood in 1781 the impact of uh, your re-entry to office and the impact of Loyola. What do you want that to be for this program? Look, I, I want every Angelino to know that yesterday is less important than tomorrow and that you can go to Loyola, you can come to our office of re-entry and we're going to sit down with you as a human being. We're not going to look at uh, what's been on the scales on this side. We want to add something on this side that can tip the scales for you. And uh, when you got the name of Loyola behind you, you know it's going to be excellent. When it's the city of angels, let's act like those angels. And so that's what I want everybody out there to hear and to know uh, that, look, as long as you've already paid your debt to society, we're here to help. It takes a professional team to make the mark we make in the community. And we are so grateful to have the best team around. This was a wonderful occasion today, premiering the Justice Clinic. Give us your insight. Oh, well, we're appreciative of you being here. It's a big day for our law school, our, our clinics, do so much amazing work out in the world and to gather today and celebrate that as a community is really exciting. What did it mean to have the mayor on campus and the dignitaries, the alumni, people representing the city, what did that mean for you? It means our whole community is coming together and everyone contributes to this and the fact that the mayor came and we have this exciting new partnership with the city of Los Angeles. We are in one of the world's most exciting cities and we here at Loyola are in the middle of all of that and to be able to serve the most vulnerable members of our community in our backyard is just an extraordinarily meaningful opportunity. The CCCJP or Expungement Project 
is helping individuals be given a second chance. We are so grateful to the mayor for choosing Loyola Law School to be the first law school in Los Angeles to bring this project to life. What do you want the community to know, people who you will be serving? What do you want them to know about this program? We want them to know that we're here. We want them to know that our students have talent, they have energy, they are so excited to be in service and to be working on their cases. So we stand with our clients, we stand with our community partners, and we're here and we're open for business, ready to go. Today we talked about, well, the mayor talked about uh, a second chance. What does that mean to you? It means that so many members of our community struggle. People who have been in prison, when they come out, they struggle. And the, you know, we live in a world that uh, it's hard to access justice and it's hard to get that second chance. And that's what we can provide to people. Loyola has a, a, a large imprint here in the city of Los Angeles. And with the clinics, um, the, the phrase social justice must resonate with you and this uh, campus. It's part of who we are on every level. It's part of what we teach to our students from the minute they get here. But the opportunity to represent someone who needs access to justice while you're still in law school changes not just the lawyer you become, it changes the person that you are. Teresa, what's the student's responsibility with this clinic? The student's responsibility is to, you go to a class once a week, and the class is about three hours, and then um, there are clients that you are assigned through the class, and you meet with the clients, you interview them, you help them with their forms, and then there's also a component where you can go to court. So this clinic offers the opportunity to become pre-bar certified, and then I was pre-bar certified, I was able to go to court twice with Ellie Miller. How important is that to you as an aspiring uh, attorney? It's very important to me. Um, uh, I was told that I got bitten by the court bug, so I got exposed to what that's like, um, not just in a classroom theoretically, but having that experience out in the real world you know, with other attorneys was priceless. And it really inspired me as a future public defender. Social justice is a question of access to resources, and like the mayor said, giving people a second chance and a third chance, sometimes even more chances. Um, it's something where people don't always have the same kind of opportunities as others, so recognizing that, acknowledging that, and trying to advocate for it and do something about it. How significant is the work this justice clinic performs? This clinic performs like some of the most important work in our criminal justice system because it focuses on helping people who have already really cleaned up their lives and want to go back to work. And there's like all these obstacles to people who are formerly incarcerated from working. And by uh, vacating or expunging their convictions and getting licenses that they've lost restored, they can reenter uh, the workforce, uh, get good jobs that pay a living wage and take care of their families. Talk about Loyola's role and uh, bringing the city together under this type of umbrella. Loyola is a law school that was founded to achieve social justice. So every Loyola kid who graduates uh, knows that they have a responsibility to use their law degree to help underserved communities. And this project, working with formerly incarcerated people, helping them re-enter, is uh, right within that mission. For you personally, the term social, social justice, how does that resonate with you? To me, social justice is the number one reason I became a lawyer. Uh, I really wanted to use legal training to make a difference for people who are struggling in Los Angeles. And that's what all of the clinics at Loyola are doing right now. Gabroto, how has this clinic uh, changed your life? This clinic has helped me a lot. Um, unfortunately, I don't come from a background that has uh, the means to afford a uh, an attorney. So Loyola has helped me a lot, especially with DACA, being a DACA recipient, as well as I have a UPS pending, which those costs are so high. I do have a stable job and I go to school and all that, but unfortunately I can't afford what are the fees, the lawyer fees plus the immigration fees. So Loyola has helped me out a lot. So it's important for you to have a clean background, a clean record. Of course, it's most definitely it's more important to have a clean record. Uh, if not, you won't be able to qualify for such programs, for DACA or UBISA. The importance of Loyola in this law clinic uh, to the city of Los Angeles, what's your perspective? Well, I think it's, I think it's uh, extremely important and uh, to the uh, entire city. Social justice is, doesn't come 
uh, easy and it doesn't come without uh, support. So the fact that they get young students involved, I think it has two advantages. One is that it's a practical training for those students, but the second thing is it provides services that you wouldn't otherwise have. What's Hollywood's responsibility in this role? Sony's very proud to support this initiative because we're community members, the same way any industry is. Um, we're a big employer in the city, um, and uh, the, the quality and the opportunity for the workforce um, is a direct corollary to the success that, that we can have. So as good corporate citizens, you know, we have to support where we can and when we can. The theme here today uh, from the mayor and as well as the, uh, the leadership here at Loyola has been a second chance. Second chance. I How like that. that. Very much. I've had m multiple second chances in my life. I think I'm probably on my fourth second chance, if that's eight. So, um, yeah, I think that's a wonderful thing that, uh, again, certainly in the entertainment business and the movie business, we believe in happy endings. Uh, and we believe that one mistake doesn't necessarily define an entire life. Um, and I think that's really what these programs and these clinics are about. Uh, everybody makes mistakes, you know, um, and everybody needs help uh, to get past them and to become productive. So, you know, as, as I say, as I think any uh, significant employer in the city of Los Angeles, which what Sony is, has a vital stake in the productivity of the workforce. Ms. Shockley, how significant was this event today? Oh, this event was very significant. It was very significant, as uh, both the mayor and the president and the dean said, because you not only are we dealing with um, the ravages, if you will, of the prison industrial complex, um, that people are returning, that without that support, without the opportunity to expunge, you're looking at like 50% of those people becoming homeless. So that on, on its face, there needs to be the, and they can't take care of their families, and that's where the recidivism ends up going back upwards of 60%. However, when you have nothing, I've known nothing that didn't, uh, that cured sort of uh, a wayward spirit like a job. And so it's really important in order to be in a position to qualify for a job. So many jobs, even though we have banned the box, they still, after they make an offer, they're cautious. So to be able to clean up your past, and when I say clean up the smallest things, everything from the tickets um, to the expungement to the opportunities for licensing, uh, is so critical because it then increases the uh, possibilities and the choices for employment. The other reason it's super important is because it is engaging the next generation of lawyers, that lawyers that uh, are committed and learn the understanding of public interest, that they're working with these clients on behalf of the clients, but also for all of us as part of, of the public interest. And I think finally, it sets an incredible example. We have other law schools, I won't name them, that have been sort of reluctant, but now they're seeing that this, all, everything from innocent pro, Innocence Projects to Boys and men's, Men of Color, Juvenile, Transition Age Youth, Foster Youth, all of these constituencies they don't have a voice unless you have places like what they're calling the CC's, this clinic.